Hello everybody and welcome to the first video of Blender 2.80 Absolute Beginners course. Uh, in this video we'll be getting Blender, installing it and checking the very very first settings and features it has. So when you go to blender.org you will have this amazing image showing the viewport of Blender and some, some tools. Just click on the button and download the software. You will be getting a zip file depending on your operation system. So once you download it, just unzip it anywhere. And that's basically it. I will just show you how it looks. So this is the finished file. You just get into the directory. Scroll down and launch them. Like click the blender <laughs> icon. And this is what you get. So you can, if you're if you're new to Blender, I would just leave everything you see as a default, and just left click anywhere. So when you new to 3D graphics and you see the Blender interface for the first time, you might be overwhelmed by the amount of things you can click, you can edit, and in general, like how much is happening here and the th first thing I really want you to learn is that you don't have to know everything to do 3D graphics you don't have to know all the settings you see here actually even I uh, I'm not fully understanding let's say what's happening here what's happening here and because the 3D graphics it's such a broad uh, industry right now barely anyone understands everything you you can learn right so like if you if you install install blender for the first time feel free just clicking around and be free not to understand anything you see right just just give yourself a freedom of of just knowing the software and looking around so when you when you when you launch blender this would be your layout and as you can see we can rotate here and i'm doing this by pressing the middle mouse button and when you hold shift key and press middle mouse button you can actually pan around the viewport and understanding um that blender is a shortcut based uh, software is a I would say the most important thing to learn in the beginning because all the operations you see that I'm doing here can be also clicked here so let's say I'm I'm holding my left mouse button and pressing this area here it allows me to rotate the viewport I can also as you can see when I pu put my cursor around here I can switch the views as well so Z would be a top view, X would be a uh, right view, as you can see here, Y would be the back view, and so on. Uh, in order to pan the 3D viewport like this, you can also press this handle here, left click it, and, and move around. To zoom in, zoom out, you can obviously click here, and move your mouse forwards and backwards. You can also do it using the mouse scroll, but in case you're a Mac user or you don't have a mouse, uh, this is very helpful right now in a new Blender uh, because you can freely work in it like without any limitations. But when you when you have a keyboard with a numpad, you can also set up these views using the keys. So if I press uh, if I press seven on my numpad it gives me a top view if i press one it gives me the, the the front view like this and when i press three it changes those axes so this is a very big speed up if you if you want to work efficiently in blender having an numpad would be a must in my opinion and yeah so again once you install blender for the first time really feel free just uh, getting around the 3D space 
and learning and, and me basically memorizing those very first shortcuts. So uh, middle mouse button is rotating the 3D viewport, holding a shift key with middle mouse button is panning, and scrolling is zooming in, zooming out. Um, I would say at this point it's also important to know one thing. So you can see this little toolbar on the left when you click when you when you hover your cursor around this area you will see it changes to this dotted thing so when you click your mouse button you can actually expand this tool and shrink it completely and yeah you might do something like this and panic a little bit like what's where's my tool how do i get it back so you can see there's this little uh plus button here you can just click it, single click it, and the tool will reappear again. So let's try it like this. And you can see this little, little button is also visible here. So when you press it, you will get another tool visible on the right. And you can also very quickly hide and unhide these tools by pressing T key and N keys. So this would be pretty important tools later in the tutorial or later when you use Blender. So I would also memorize those two shortcuts T and N. And then you don't have to be worried about when you when you go to the link in the description of this video, uh, you will have all shortcuts to this and to any other video listed below it. So feel free browsing the chocofor.com website, uh, which is linked to this video. And yeah, um, just memorizing the shortcuts. Once we'll be moving to the next videos, there will be more operations happening. And just take it once, one step at a time, right? So I would really suggest just playing around at first, uh, getting, you know, uh, cut like, Le learning the very basic things around Blender like this, clicking around here. If you break anything, don't don't worry. And you can always press Control N and create a new file, right? So it will restart the Blender and everything you broke will be working again. So I would say that's it for now and have have fun playing with the 3D viewport and see you in the next video.